him and his his, his business partner Todd were awesome. Rock stars. Rock stars. Yes. Listen, Todd had a house. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Yep. Uh, and they those guys, those guys, those guys, man. Every time I'm on I'm on Facebook and I see these guys posting their deals, man, it gives me all the motivation in the world. Yep. And I want you, I want you, if y'all watching this, continue to post y'all content because I'm watching. Y'all guys are inspiring me, man. Like I really, I really look up to you guys. So y'all continue y'all to motivate me, man. Motivate the platform, motivate the group. Yeah. You know, because we Detroit, man. We coming. That that's right. We're, we're always there. We're always coming, man. And if you, if anybody needs help moving properties, whatever, JV with me, you can JV with with Mike. Absolutely. By all means, Absolutely. and you can learn from the process. Now, um, one thing that I wanted to ask you, going forward into the future, mm -hmm. you're looking at investing. Now you're looking at you, hey, you're wholesaling. You're not done wholesaling, mm -hmm. but you're looking. Okay, what's the next step? What what can I do forward? We already discussed yep. a little bit. Mm -hmm. You're looking for mm -hmm. apartments, mm -hmm. so so tell me what that next step looks like for you. Commercial, commercial units. Uh, my old goal is to get eight this this year. If it's more, I'm blessed. You know, if it's if it's if it's eight, eight is the standard though. Only eight unit. I want to um, self manage myself. So when I do scale, I have a I have a I have enough knowledge to not get robbed or not have mistakes. I know exactly what I'm looking for. I can pre qualify my management team a lot better. You know, I know the ins and outs. So I want to start with an eight unit. Hey, real quick, when you're on the right though, make sure you add in the property management costs. Mm -hmm. See, okay. that's a new, that's a new, that's a new, that's a new gym. So yeah, like the reason that. why you do that is because when you do that, okay, you, essentially you still you pay that towards yourself while you're doing that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. now you're not you're yeah. not looking for. Yeah. Uh, you're not looking when you when you do that. Uh, and then you say now you get up to 100 units or 50 units or whatever, um, and now you're not doing it yourself. You're 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 hiring somebody to do it. You already have those numbers in place, mm -hmm. and now you don't have to take away from the cash flow. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. So like I said, man, commercial, commercial, commercial. Um, that's my whole thing, and I, I'll I'll never stop wholesaling yep. because I can, you know it just. Wholesaling just giving you so much flexibility and so many options, you know. But like I said, long term now it's for me to start to get my keep. I've been yeah, finding yeah. guys deals for a while now, so now my, my now it's time for me to just start getting my own deals, grow my portfolio, grow yeah, as, yeah. as an investor, um, getting around smarter, sharper investors that that has more wisdom than I have, man. Because I don't have all the answers, yeah. but if you got if you got the answers, I'm coming to ask you. So if you're watching yeah. this, <laughs> I see you. I think you got a, I think you got some information that I can get and learn and you know mm -hmm. take that and run with it. I'm definitely gonna ask you. I'm, I'm never gonna be gun shy about asking questions because like I say, um, yep. my yeah. goal is to like I said to improve every day, man. I don't I don't take this lightly. So I have I have a goal. Mm -hmm. I've explained it. I've talked with Phil about this, and I think Phil, you know, he, he's a huge inspiration on this. I want to. Uh, Automate my wholesaling business. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, and where um, all I'm doing is concentrating on the training. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. I'm training the employees, so gotcha. I automate the wholesaling business. Okay, and uh, within the next five years. Now, yes. I believe I can do it within the next two. Mm -hmm. Okay, after talking with Phil. Yes, I was giving myself some cushion. Yeah, <laughs> but. Hey, but hey. Yeah. And that's why that's why I love Dean's mastermind because it's a is a is a as a standard being set and there's also some accountability being asked. And I don't, I don't and I and I love that. Because it's like it's like a it's like a brother, like a brotherly thing. Like it's you know, yeah. it's like, okay, well, I'm gonna challenge you. And I don't mind I don't mind challenges. You know so, um, so real quick, Ryan has this question for you. What has been the most unexpected learning on your real estate journey? real estate journey most unexpected learning um not par not partnering up with uh with brian <laughs> not partnering up with brian yeah, no, seriously no seriously what it was um 
me and Brian and Todd, we had a we had a uh, situation where they wanted me to come on on board with them and, and do work together. But mm -hmm. in my mind, I was like, you know, I just want to build my own business. Yep. You know, and I don't know if uh, that was just me being young or me just being ego driven at the time. Yeah. But going back, I definitely would have partnered with them guys and yep. just learn from them because they're they're rock stars themselves. Um, but learning just just really just unexpected. Um, what else could be unexpected? I had to learn. Um, oh, just paperwork. Yeah. Like when I first got my first deal on a contract, I didn't even send the paperwork the title. Like, I, I like I said, I was I, I was fresh. All I knew was get the property under contract, get my assignment agreement. I'm like, I think I think one of my I think my buyer I think Harissa his name was Harissa was like, did you send it? The, did you send the title? I'm like, oh man, I got to the title. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I forgot that whole step. But luckily again, Dean hooked me up with a guy named Aaron. He used to work at, to work at um, Legacy, uh, and he's 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 still one of my, my one of my closest guys now. I send him all my deals. Aaron's yep. a great guy, yeah. and that was Dean just being resourceful. Like, hey man, reach out to Aaron. He's a great guy, and me and Aaron have a great relationship. So the paperwork was the paperwork was one thing, and then also dealing with people, because um, with single family people are very emotional. Yes. 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 Very, very emotional. And I had sometimes, like I said, I had to sometimes I had to take my stuff back and okay, let me put myself in the seller's shoes. You know, and that's why I said I've never been a forceful guy. Cause I'll walk away from the deal before I force the deal. Maybe we just not the right the right fit. And I just walk away. You yeah. know, and it was crazy, it was crazy. Anytime that I push the deal away, eight out of ten times would come back to me. Yep. I had a seller last month. She didn't want, she thought, she thought that what I offered her was too high. I told her, okay, perfect. Well, we, may, we might not be a good fit for each other. You know, if you want to list it, you go list it. You know, if any, if you need my, if you need my assistance or anything, just give me a call. You know, and what happened was, she was set on it. I think my me being genuine, you know, and me being honest with her, because I shoot it straight. I shoot people straight. Yep. From the hip, I'm just gonna shoot you straight up, up forward. Um, and she, she came back. She accepted my offer. And we got the deal closed, like ten in like ten days, probably less than that. Yeah. So, um, how did you? How did you already have a buyer lined up for that? Is that right? Nope, nope. The property, right. the deal was just the deal was just good. It was it was just that sweet. Like the property didn't really need too much work. It was in a great neighborhood. Um, when I put it up, God called me. Hey, hey, I might, might. I want the deal. I want to come look at it tomorrow. Yep. You know, um, and I set it up. You know. Now, how are, you, how are you posting your deals? Are you just posting them on Facebook groups? Do you have a buyer's list? I have a buyer's list and I do post them on in, in, a, in a group. You okay. know, and I have a few guys. I have a, I have a list of I have a list of buyers on my phone that I reach out to. And I just call them up individually. Hey, how's it going? Yep. This is what I got in Detroit. Are you buying the Metro Detroit area? If you're not, you know, things like that. You know, I always just try to reach out to my buyers at least two, three times a month too, as well. Are you yeah. still purchasing? Because I I, I got to I had to erase a few. Um, my buyer that wasn't buying no more. Yep. You know, I had to race them because they're not buying and be trading no more. They're buying near, near, near the other way. So, you know, you yeah. just want to keep refreshing, keep your buyers fresh. Um, be honest. Um, and constantly looking to improve, man. That's the biggest yeah. thing. Get around people that can help you elevate. You know, you got to remove yourself. And I think that's that's another goal for me this year is remove myself away from people that can't teach me anything. And it's not like harmful i'm not trying to be harmful to nobody it's just like i'm in a space where i have to continue to, i have to continue this momentum i have to continue to grow learn develop execute take actions be held to a certain standard you know a lot of a lot of people may not hold me to a certain standard that a dean or randy or brian hold me to you know what i mean so just being around um individuals that's that's already getting success um that's family man, like as fathers like Brian and Dean and Swill. Like I know, I know all their families. That's the crazy part about it. I know their kids, <laughs> wives. Like we really like. I really have a genuine uh, relationship with these guys. So these are my guys. So yeah, that, that's awesome. So you know, coming from that, you know, coming from you know dealing with you know a great set of people, uh, get out there to network events, things mm -hmm. like that. I, uh, you know, that's, I, I think that's the key. That's what's helped me in my business. Uh, 
and by like i go to as many events as i can every month mm -hmm. all okay. right and everyone's like well oh wow you're always busy you're you're going in yeah it's because you know what and some of these people i may see they're constantly the same thing but you know what i'm, I'm fresh in their eyes mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. I'm fresh in their mind i've had i've had a buyer bring me a deal i had one of my buyers bring me a deal saying hey you know, I got the, you know, I got this smoking deal from, uh, uh, from an agent. I just, I didn't want it. So I gave him this huge low ball offer, but they took it. <laughs> I got some of those too. And, and I, I'm like, Hey, if you think you could sell this? I'm like, I could sell this all day long. I'm like, you can make a quick, you, you make quick money. I make quick money. Yeah. You, yeah. you know, Absolutely. Absolutely. so you know, it, it's things like that, that, um, it, you you just keep them fresh in your mind, you know. Mm -hmm. um, you know that's there. There's some people out there. Some of my buyers they don't go to these events at all. And the reason they don't go to these events because they're too busy working, too busy flipping, you know. So you know, I meet them out elsewhere. I meet them off, you know, for a coffee or meet them at the property, talk with mm -hmm. them like that. You know, you got to keep up, like you said, keep up with your buyers, you know, Absolutely. I have, Absolutely. I have a, a, a hot list of buyers, you know, that, that I'm like, hey, what do you think? I, I, I got a, um, I got a property over here in, in Madison Heights, you know, what, what you got, you know, tell me, tell me your buy price on this. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And then too, I think I think that also you have to establish a trust a trust with your, your yeah. partner. What I tell people all the time, hey, listen, we do business. My the, my relationship with you is way more important than the money. Yep. Plain and simple. Oh yeah. I let people know that now because ain't no point to ain't no point to doing nothing shady. Right. You know, and they respect that. Listen, my relationship with you is way more important than the deal or the next two deals because. If our relationship strong, we're gonna we're gonna make way more money than this first two three deals. So this yep. should be straight, be honest, be ethical, um, and just go go be go attack, go attack. You know, be assertive in the field. You know, if you out there, get out there and cold, get out there and cold call, get out there and drive for dollars. You know, um, and don't be don't be don't be have faith, don't be nervous. Oh, they ain't gonna like that. I ain't gonna like that because that was my thing, my biggest thing. I was so I'm always been like kind of like laid back, like in it, like chilling. Like I just let yeah. a lot of things come to me. You know, I just relax. If it's, if it's meant for me, it's, it'll come. But if it's not, it ain't. But now this year is more. Like, I'm being more assertive with me posting, me showing yeah. my face, me doing this podcast. Um, probably two years ago, you probably want to call me on no podcast. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, but like being more assertive, you know, because I do I do bring a lot of value. You know, um, so just being more assertive. Um, be more confident, because um, I think that your goal that you got for the pop with the automation, you can do that in a year, man. Yeah, you yeah. you're a rock star. You know, you're a rock star, dude. I appreciate you're it. You're a rock star. You're a rock star. Reason, the main reason I say it takes two years because I have a day job. Yes. Um, yes. So, so that's the main reason why. Yeah. Um, if I was doing this full time, I'm six yeah. months to a year. I, I'm good. You know. You got it though. Um, but the thing is, is that I 100% agree with you on that. Is that you? You got to have the right mindset for this. You got to have the right, um, you know. Uh, you got to. You know what? Everything comes down to is your reason why. Yes. And, and, and your yes, reason bro. why. Yes. Yes. You got to have a good why. Yes. So before Thank you start you, anything, before you do anything, figure out your why. Okay. Yes. Yes, and the yes. reason why you successed succeeded so much in your first deal is your reason why yes was that what three month old yes that you had at that time yes and you can see her now she's four. Oh my god man she's crazy four. man and, 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 and like i say i took my daughter on my first appointment one of my first few appointments and i knew right in and there I'm never gonna stop doing this. This is the exact way I'm gonna take care of my child. Now I've done other things. Yep. Um, but this is this real estate is gonna be a part of my legacy and my family forever. And that's my goal. I'm gonna teach not only teach my uh my daughter, but my grandchildren, my mother, anybody I wanna learn, you know, we're gonna um, we definitely 
the Cooper is gonna be around. We're gonna we're gonna be known for doing real estate and being great people and giving back to our community. So, what is your end goal, say, ten years down the road? Okay, what what's your goals for ten years? We can even do just do five years. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to be I want to be this freedom financially freedom. Um, my bills paid for. I'm coaching. Um, I have a nonprofit called Motown Dream Team Academy where we train and mentor the youth in Detroit. Um, that's like that's like my my release 